hey guys welcome to another video so as promised I'm gonna show you how to update your Huawei media pad X1 now I just bought mine um, I, I bought it a while back but I just got it in the mail today and the reason that I was in a hurry to get it or I really decided I would go with that instead of another uh, Huawei Senmate 2 is because I found out that KitKat was released back in July for the media pad now the media pad hit markets uh, in overseas in June it was announced in I think February it says it was released in April but it actually didn't hit retailers until like June so if you look on line you'll see them everywhere but um, the link to purchase this one I'll put it in the description so you can get exactly what I have at the price I got it at which is a great price you can get it for 320 shipped or if you want it express to get it in four days or so 339 or 330 that is a fantastic price and value for what you're getting now on to updating it to KitKat when you get it it's gonna come with 4.2.2 jelly bean all you will need is to download the ROM that matches your device um, model so in order to way the way you find your model is you look on the side of your box and you'll see either this right here D 7 501 u which is the model I have or you'll see 7 503 L they're both the same the ROM is going to be pretty much the same almost a gig so find your model and remember these these instruct these um, links to download the files KitKat it also has the updated emotion UI to 2.3 it's all in the description check the description the link to purchase it is in the description this exact one that I'm updating and I'm showing you just like mine and also KitKat files are in the description it'll take you right to these pages when you click on them so find out your model and that's it after you download your file you need to download this top one this 2.3 which is the new emotion UI and then it'll have KitKat with that so you want to download the top one it's the bigger file it's almost a gig 998 on that one and 998 on this one so you want to download the top one and what I did also I did I downloaded the the 2.0 with um, 4.2.2 on there just in case I had an issue I didn't have an issue though it went through first try as you'll see here in a second no problems and the update only took maybe five to ten minutes and it was done so downloading these files depends on your internet connection I download these in about a minute or so and they're, they're only a gig so after you get them downloaded you can you don't have to worry about renaming it to update dot zip and all that because it's gonna have a long file extension and let me see here this is what it'll look like right so open that up and this is what you'll see in there you want to copy ju just copy this into your SD card and you want to paste now I already have them there leave it there don't worry about these files in here just leave everything as is so this needs to be on the root of your SD card so when I open up my SD card it immediately goes to this because you need this auto upgrade uh, SIG file to be right in the front so after you've done all of that you want to go ahead and if your phone is turned on just pop the SD card in the side of your phone and if your phone is turned off go ahead and pop it in there too so if your phone is on pop the SD card in there hit the power button hold it down until it says you know reboot start or whatever power hit restart if your phone is on if your phone is off just power it on and what's gonna happen is the system is gonna grab this auto update file and it's gonna pull all the files from the downloaded folder that's what it's gonna do you can see how much is in there over a gig so after you do that this is what's gonna happen next alright guys so after you've done all the steps um, that I showed you on the computer this is what you get when you reboot your phone it'll now go into uh, the install of 4.4.2 so this you put your SD card in the side there and if you can use just a blank SD card just for this process that would be great um, so you need at least two gigs free on the SD card and um, that'll that'll get you here and I'll show you uh, again after this is done that I am on 4.4.2 on this brand new X1 that I just got out of the box see you guys in the next video alright so the phone is rebooting now and then um, it completed the install I was trying to catch some more of the install but you, know, you don't want to look at the install you just want to see that it's on 4.4.2 so 
I'm going to show you here that it is on 4.4.2 and uh, you have now updated your MediaPad X1 to the latest version, KitKat. I will see you guys in the next one. Take a look here. We'll go into settings after this. The initial up. setup here. So as you can see now, it's prompting me to step through all the information and I selected English and all the agreements and everything here. And we'll go straight into, you can already see that it's on 4.2 up there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and skip all this and just take you right in. And um, show you that I am on, wow, that's a completely different look. Uh, the icons are bigger. The screen looks way more polished. We can now do this here. Wow, that, that's a completely different different look. Wow. All right, so um, let me stop being blown away here and get into settings. Icons are different. And go to about, and there you have it, 4.2.2. And it's got the Huawei logo there instead of the K. But uh, 4.4.2. All right, folks. So you have officially updated your Huawei MediaPad X1 or the Honor 1, whichever one your box says. Same thing. See you guys in the next one.